In a while, I'll be speaking with Southeast Asia's first software billionaire, who is no stranger to banks and bankers in the region. Today, over 40% of leading Southeast Asian banks utilise his software systems. Founded in 1989 and listed on the Singapore Exchange in 2003, the company today has a market cap of almost 3 billion Singapore dollars. Meet the founder and group executive chairman of Silver Lake Access Limited, Mr. Gopeng Wee. You founded Silver Lake in 1989. Um, what and how was it like initially for you, um, like in terms of, of challenges, whether it's in funding and the opportunities that, that you, was available back then? Uh, I, that, that you, you asked a very good question that lead to the issue, lead to the issue of luck. Mm. A person like me tends to be very idealistic, tends to be talking about things that is like 50 years ahead of time. And that's how people can be very sad. Very right? sad. Yes, because you live ahead of time and you can end up nobody cares about you. So I was lucky that I quit and somebody needs my solution. So that is called lucky. Right? And I was second lucky when UOB decided to buy from Silver Lake, which was a small little company. Now, the second time lucky. By the time we did the uh, transformation of Indonesia banking and Mandiri. That was the third time, time lucky. So Silver Lake was a combination of luck plus mathematical intelligence. You were in IBM for nine years before you founded Silver Lake. How did you join IBM? Well, I... Was there another choice? Or was well, I spent a lot of time working on computer because uh, my work in university was simulation. And to do that, you had to understand a computer very well. So I used Hitachi computer. So I actually sort of more associated with Hitachi and Fujitsu. When IBM offered me to actually to, to be in charge of Japanese enterprises, in fact now competing with Hitachi and Fujitsu and NEC, well, life is such that you have to have a job. So when somebody offered you a job, that you, you quite like the job because you, 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 that was what you did. You know, as a young man, you, you, you take it. Well, I was offered by a prestigious university to do research. Well, honestly, I would like to. But somehow, I didn't do it. So if you ask me, well, there is no really specific reasons why. Maybe I was thinking of home, thinking of parents. Maybe I was uh, too, too much Chinese, too much about family. and. And that slight pull swing the whole decision this side. How much of today's success would you attribute to your time back in IBM? Now, I was a kampung boy. So, there are, you know, in kampung, you don't have this word called management, okay? So, when you are raised in that kampung environment, you are very kampung. Okay? And IBM definitely removed the kampungness from me, okay? Silver Lake Group has grown by leaps and bounds. The listed company, Silver Lake Access Limited, had from 2010 to 2014 made acquisitions to broaden its suite of software solutions and service offerings. In the same period, it has seen a compounded annual growth rate of close to 30% in revenue and 40% in net profit. Begin with the end in mind. For Gore and Silver Lake, the end point is intelligence, which is where the group is today, and which has enabled the group to be unperturbed by competition. The whole evolution of technology to information, to capability and to intelligence was what we, I actually wanted to drive, even during my time in IBM. And that was what I pointed out in IBM, that IBM was a technology company, very good technology company, then replaced by another vendor called Microsoft. 
which was an information company. But again, even long ago, I pointed out that is the dead end because things are going to evolve and it will evolve to capability. So now we see all the heroes, all the success companies like Alibaba, like Google, like Facebook, but these are all capability companies. They are not at the game theoretic level, they are not at the intelligence level. So the end point is finally intelligence. For 2015 and beyond, Silver Lake Access Limited aims to be Asia-Pacific's largest digital economy solutions company. In December last year, it has acquired FinSoft Solutions Limited, a software development company based in New Zealand and listed on the New Zealand Exchange. I actually bought FinSoft because it is a very successful vertical company. Now, unfortunately, it is a company of limited resources at a time. And I, I thought... In terms of money or people? Well, it is both money and people. But I think being part of Silver Lake, we could complement them. Today, Silver Lake Group serves not only the banking industry, but also insurance, retail, logistics and the healthcare industry as well. Asked why did God choose to list Silver Lake Access on the Singapore Exchange and not Busan, Malaysia. Then why we didn't list in Malaysia? Because when I talk like this, everyone was confused. You talk about mathematical intelligence, how to list mathematical intelligence? You know, that not many people list. They list property development company, they list, you know, biscuit manufacturing company. You know, but somebody wants to list a mathematical intelligence company, which is weird. You're very passionate about mathematics and all, but um, is there a particular role model or mentor that you actually looked up to over the years of your work? That mathematicians are very well known. So I start with people like Aristotle. So Aristotle is my teacher. I start with people like Euclid. Euclid is my teacher. Uh, you have scientists, mathematical scientists like Prato. So my teacher. The beautiful things about mathematicians is all of them wrote books. All of them wrote theories and they argue why. I think that is the best teacher because they are so neutral. They present themselves to you. Now it's up to you to accept or not to accept. And they never disturb you. They never tell you you are wrong. Now it's up to you. So I, I, I think the best teachers are all the great scientists, the great mathematicians, uh, even uh, those uh, people who wrote uh, I Ching and, and Tao Te Ching you know, in, in China. These are all great teachers. They are all great teachers. All of them were and are my teachers. Um, now on retirement and succession, um, you're 60 this year, mm. um, so in terms of retirement, are you thinking of retiring anytime soon? And you have two children as well, so are you eventually going to be passing on the business to them? Uh, I'm happy to say that all my kids are mathematically inclined. Both are not very worried about the father talking too much about mathematics, so that is a good sign. It's usually not your, 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 your family, it's, it's somebody else who inherits. But on Silver Lake as a group, it is a business. Now, it is a game theoretic model. It's not a mathematical model. So it's a two different model. One is a mathematical model. The other one is a game theoretic model, which is a business model. And business model, they are always better businessmen than me. So I'm not worried. You know, I'm not a good businessman. So I'm least worried about that Silver Lake couldn't find a good businessman to take over. But yourself, you would still be running the company for many more years to come? You see, as a founder, you always have the advantage of making some noise. Uh, I'm not a necessity because I think all my people's, people are actually very good. They can run it themselves. But it's always good to have somebody to come up with some new ideas. Personally, I will continue to research on mathematical intelligence and there's no way I can stop it. Even I don't think about it, I think about it.
And that was Mr Goping Ui, founder and chairman of Civil Aid Group. I'm Weilin, this is the HTV. I speak Japanese, yes. I wrote Japanese, I speak Japanese. I publish my paper in Japanese, yes.